Hi everyone! In this video I'd like to talk about a few characteristics of Kb. So the first one is that Kb is the equilibrium constant for a base. So something like ammonia or methylamine, one of our weaker bases. They'll have Kb and Kb will tell us something about where equilibrium lies for that particular base reaction. The second thing is that the higher the Kb value is, the stronger the base will be, and the lower the Kb value is, the weaker the base would be. So if we think about a generic base reaction, we have B which is generically base, and it's going to react in water where water is going to act like our acid. Now remember, a base is a proton acceptor, and the only thing it can accept the proton from is the water. So what we're going to have is the B is going to take on an H, so this is now the conjugate acid, and it's BH plus because it took an H plus from the water. Now the water losing that proton becomes OH minus. So now this has an equilibrium expression for Kb, and as all Kbs go, it's going to be the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. So if we take a look at this, we see that our products are our conjugate acid and hydroxide. So we have the concentration of BH plus times the concentration of hydroxide divided by so now, we're not going to include water in this expression because water is a liquid. So remember, for all Ks, if you have a solid or liquid, you do not include them in your expression for K. You only include things that are aqueous or gaseous. So the only thing here we would include then is that base, which is aqueous. And this would be the expression we have for Kb.